Hey guys, welcome back to Daniel's Tech World here on YouTube. My name is Daniel Rosal. This is my little tech corner of the internet. So recently we've been doing, as I keep saying, many videos about optical media. And today I thought I would uh, do one about my method that I'm kind of developing on the fly for cataloging, uh, because this is something I never really thought of before. But this nice little software called VVV that people pointed me in the direction of is really, really useful. Um, on Windows, there is WinCatalog. But anyway, I want to show you guys today um, the process of physical, physically just marking the disks um, and figuring out what's on them. So the first thing is this is the um, cPanel backup uh, DVD that I made earlier. It's just a, a backup of some uh, hosting panels, cPanel's websites, basically. So I just loaded this into the disk reader, the Blu-ray burner writer, thingy from Pioneer and I can see that it is uh, fine. So the next thing, so that's step one is burning your media. The next thing is going to be uh, cataloging. Now when I started the process of trying to figure out smart ways to catalog my optical media, I used a system, um, if I can bring over my uh, notepad for a second here, I did start it from A001 and I did the mathematics if I'm getting these right. And 25 letters, because we used up one letter already. I'm starting afresh from B001 because uh, I gave up on this system uh, after a few disks. Um, but if we, if you use from B through to Z up to 999, my mathematics are never famously uh, good. But if, if I'm not mistaken, that would be, that would give you 24,975 disks, 999 multiplied by 25. And dividing that by two gives you approximately 12,487. So let's say 12,500 round on site and off site. That would probably keep anyone going for life. And if it doesn't, you can uh, you can move on to another system, uh, AA001, etc. Um, but I think this would be vastly enough for the vast majority of people. So I'm going to start my system now from B001. What I'm going to do here is catalog the uh the cd uh, so i need to tell it firstly where the thing is and i need i'm just going to point it to my c panel backups here we go c panel backups lovely and then i'm going to call it b001 right and that this is what i'm going to actually write on the volume so i'm going to do catalog um and back here oh it's already done it for me so um b001 is now saved into this uh, into my VVV manager. And this is uh, just a refresh on what this is very useful for. It means that I can search for a file. In this case, these backups mightn't be so useful. Um, it mightn't be what I'm really searching for, but in the in the video, one of my video YouTube video CDs, let's say this one from a whiskey distillery, I could say, hey, I want to find that video from the whiskey distillery. And then this would return the file and it would be uh, on the disk that was A001, A011. But this is a new system I'm using, B001. Um, and now what I need to do is physically mark the disks with B001. So let me show you guys what I decided to do. So the first thing uh, we've talked about this, this is the way I wrote this one, and actually it's not a great example. In fact, it's a bad example. Uh, this is not where you're, if you're gonna write on your optical media at all, there is a debate we've talked about uh, off this, CD safe water-based markers versus regular ones. Some people think it matters. Um, I would say that this, so the Canadian Conservation Institute say, right on the transparent part of the CD. So to do this, uh, you really need a, a thin uh, permanent marker. I would, I personally would would feel comfortable using an alcohol-based one here because you're not really writing on anything. There's not, there's no data on the transparent part. Uh, you can see what I did was not a, was was actually incorrect because I wrote over the place where there was data, but sorry about that, but it's, it's, it's already done. So write in the red, the transparent portion. Uh, now the next thing that I did was I labeled the jewel cases with B001. So now I can search for something in my digital catalog, find that the media is called B001. And then I just need to uh, look for, and then I added the date as well, just because everything should be ordered by date, but just to make it easier to eyeball three different volumes. If I was looking for something done in January 24, uh, this would uh, accelerate the process. The final idea that I had, and this is kind of why I actually wanted to make the video, is I thought, hang on a second, in 
proper warehouses, they use QR codes to store data about the inventory. So wouldn't that work for uh, for CDs? So uh, you can use a QR code generator, which you can put in some text. So I looked up how much information you can store in a QR code in text format. And the answer is that you can store up to 7,089 digits or 4,200 a 96 characters because in binary characters uh i guess are taking up i'm i'm not an, i'm not an, anyway you can store enough to record a little bit of information so here was here's my idea i find a qr t- a text to qr code generator not one of the ones that hosted on a website i don't like those because uh, you're then dependent on the website being operational this is one that just gives you a text output um, and uh, so what I wrote here was the volume identifier. I wrote the date of creation. I wrote whether the disk was encrypted or not. Actually, I didn't, but you could do that. That would. And then I also thought you could actually store your checksums this way. You could store them right on the QR codes as an additional form of protection. And uh, there are nice QR code printers on the uh, on the market if you want to do this uh, and make them look nice. Uh, I just did them. I just printed it out on an inkjet printer. So this is how it looked. Uh, the QR code here, uh, next the volume name below it, and it worked. Uh, you can just hold up your phone, uh, your camera with a QR code viewer or your camera app, and uh, it will read the QR code. This is the uh, QR identification process in action here. So I just uh, use my wife's phone uh, to read off the QR code momentarily. Watch this. There you go. And then you can use a QR code reader. As you can see, it'll show up the the details. So I think this is, uh, if I may say so myself, decent system for uh, for inventorizing your physical media. Start with the identifier, catalog that digitally. And then the embellishment I thought of was uh, put, printing out QR codes uh, where you can store, store information. So you could very quickly um, make your way through a big pile of physical media and uh, just scan a few QR, co- QR codes and without even needing to use a uh, computer you could uh, quickly see what's on the disk and locate the disk that you're looking for. Hope that video is interesting. Thanks for watching. Until the next episode.